Uh, so uh, this month, through the month of May, we've been uh, thinking about um, scripture, high school scripture. I'll get this other microphone for you, David. Um, hopefully, there we go, that's on. And uh, we've got a few minutes now just to hear. We've finally got Katie on the last day <laughs> of uh, our mission month to actually be with us and to fill us in on uh, some of the things that are um, going on in the scripture ministry. And just by way of introduction, there's been wonderful financial support in this month, um, far more than we expected. So, um, so it's wonderful you can be with us, Kate. So, um, oh, I'm yeah. really encouraged by your generosity. It's fantastic. Uh, it's such a wonderful ministry to be a part of. It's such a team effort. Uh, obviously, there's a, a group of local churches making this ministry possible, and also a wonderful team of volunteers that I'm supporting and, and helping as we go into this course course. Yeah, so um, Katie, you've left behind a, um, uh, a family. Do you want to tell us just yes, briefly about yourself? <laughs> Our and, church service starts a bit later. And I've got this turned up now, so you can take it out a little okay, bit if you sure. like, Katie. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I do. I'm, I've got a lovely family. I've been married uh, nearly 18 years. And that makes me seem very old. Uh, so, my husband, Andrew, um, yeah, I, I, I met my husband at church. Uh, that's a great place to meet people. Uh, and, yeah, we've been married for, for nearly 18 years. We've got three children. So, I've got an almost 14 year old. She's in year eight, and she goes to school in the inner west. And I have uh, a 10 year old and a seven year old son. So two, two girls and a boy. All right. And uh, so very good, Katie. And uh, did you, um, uh, are you a local girl? Like, did you grow up around this area or? Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, I actually grew up in the eastern suburbs in at Bronte, the second roughest beach in Sydney. It's claim to fame. Uh, so yes, I, I did nippers there, very terrifying. I just remember coming home and then watching an Iron Man or something and feeling like, yeah, I just did that. Uh, and then um, I actually got sent to high school in the inner west. So I went to Newtown Performing Arts High School. And I actually found that so refreshing because growing up in the eastern suburbs, we lived in like, I know you, you hear Bronte and you think, wow, that's super wealthy. We lived in like the most run down semi in Bronte. And to be cool in primary school, you really needed to have the Billabong t-shirt or the, the cool clothes. But when I went to high school in Newtown, it's actually really cool to have clothes from Binnie's. And suddenly, you could fit in and be yourself. So I really love that sense of everyone can find their thing. That was just refreshing for me, I liked it. Okay, very good, Katie. And um, I'll, um, I, might, I think the battery on that one's running out, so I'm gonna take this one instead. And uh, Katie, so um, now, what did you do? Uh, your training and so on? You're obviously in schools now. Did you train as a teacher or what did, how did you? Yeah, so before having children, so I looked after my children full time for 10 years, but prior to that, I taught English as a foreign language to young adults, uh, and that was some wonderful teacher training there. So I did that through Cambridge University at something called a CELTA, a Certificate of English Language Teaching, uh, and that actually was highly practical for managing a classroom and all of those things. So I found those skills very adaptable uh, in the high school classroom. I have also um, been involved in lots of schools prior to that because I used to do debating. Uh, so I was a debating coach uh, and also private music tutor. I used to play the clarinet. All right, okay. <laughs> okay, and uh, now before we talk about the, the actual ministry now, so you're at a church uh, nearby here? Yeah, absolutely. So I go to church, just a church I can walk to from my house. So I live in Leichhardt, and so I go to All Souls Anglican Church in Leichhardt with David and Mara. All right, terrific, Katie. Well, look, um, now, uh, regarding the ministry, now this is scripture ministry in high schools, there's four schools, yeah. and you're the scripture coordinator. That's correct. So I teach in all of those schools, uh, but there's more classes than I can physically be in. So, for example, Homebush Boys High School, we have six SRE classes, so one for each year, and so that means that we also have SRE there for year 11 and 12, which is very rare. And they're full classes. There's you know 30 students enrolled in those classes. Uh, so yes, I have a team that come in with me. Uh, and part of my role, because I have been doing this for a number of years in uh, Leichhardt and Balmain, uh, is to provide my team with uh, great lesson material and help them to have a great experience in the classroom. So 
a short amount of time, so we want to make sure that it's the time in the week that's excellent and memorable and fun. Okay, well that's setting a high bar. It is. And so now I'm going to ask the gathered mob here, uh, do you know the four schools that Katie is responsible for coordinating the scripture in? One is our local school. I'll give you the easy one. Concord High. Thank you. Now let's get on to the harder ones. What? Yeah, they got them. Now over here, Burwood Girls. <laughs> Burwood Girls. What else was mentioned? Strathfield Girls. So far, so good. One more. Homebush Boys. Thank you. We got them all right. Got them all right. Well done. So Katie, now what what sort of actually happens in the um, in the classroom? Yeah, so, and we've got a fantastic curriculum that uh, our diocese produces. So that's the Think Faith curriculum that's produced by Youth Works, uh, and it's really meaty and really Bible-based. And it's been put together by teachers that understand uh, the kind of learning techniques and things that are going to light teenagers up. Uh, so I found it fantastic. I love looking at the material that they have. We always have to put that into the context that we have. They'll produce a lot of material for one lesson. We might only have a half an hour lesson. Or at, in the case of Concord, we've got a much longer amount of time, so we've got 50 minutes. So we can uh, pack that out with some more in-depth activities. Things have actually uh, developed at Concord High recently, is that right? Yeah, absolutely. So we have more scripture at Concord than we had last year, which is a fantastic result of a negotiation uh, at the end of last year with your previous coordinator. Uh, and also we have Lunchtime Group, which started right at the start of the year at Concord High School. And the Lunchtime Group is so well attended. Uh, we have 25 to 30 kids coming along to that. Uh, in a fantastic space. Uh, the school's been very generous in letting us uh, teach in their theatre space. Uh, yeah, which is great. Uh, lunchtime is a wonderful opportunity because we can give things away. We can give them food. If they need Bibles, we can get Bibles for them. Uh, we're just a lot more free to be more generous. Okay, let me swap with you, Katie. Sure. Yes, yeah, so, um, so Katie, and, but it's not just classrooms, it's actually lunchtime ministry? That's right, so at Concord and at Burwood, uh, we have a lunchtime group. So Burwood's lunchtime group is very new, that's only started this term, but that's a wonderful amount of time, so you've got a long lunchtime there, 50 minutes. Uh, yeah, and so uh, we're continuing to pray that the word will go out about that group and that more girls will come. All right, well, and Kate, Katie, what, uh, so what do you, are the joys and the challenges of, of this sort of ministry? High school students, I, I'm <laughs> sure there's very few dull moments. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, look, I really like teenagers. I, I love them and I love Jesus and I love the opportunity that we've got uh, to show them that we love them by preparing really well and being interested in them and interested in their questions and answering them having a real go at answering them. And if we didn't do a good job of it, coming back next week with a better answer. Uh, I think that scripture is just such a wonderful opportunity to show how interested we are in them. And we don't want anything from them. We're there to encourage them in their faith journey. We really want to create pathways to the local church. Uh, you know, these young people are the church. Um, I know for myself, I became a Christian through the ministry of another teenager, really. I, I'm like a lot of the kids in these classes, my family didn't go to church. Uh, it's only because a lady, we, my parents still want us to have Christian values, so we were signed up for SRE, but a, a lady in the playground told my mum about her local youth group. And so then my mum sent me there, and it's only because I made some great friends there. Over time, over time, they kept telling me about Jesus and their lives were so much nicer than the lives of some of my other friends. I thought, I want that. Um, and I'm 40 now, I met, I'm thinking in particular of one friend I met at youth group when I was 12. She's still my best friend, she's the godmother of my daughter, she stood next to me on my wedding day, catching up with her tomorrow. Like, God's so good. Yeah, very, very good, uh, Katie. Uh, much more could be said. We're really pleased you're here. Um, now, you've got to go, that's why we've got you here, and give you a bit, uh, having a good time now hearing this news. Um, we do have, we'll, we'll stay in touch and get more, more news. Wonderful. We do know that you're supported by a, a board. Um, Generate is the, uh, the uh, sponsoring body, if you like. Um, That's great. Combines Anglican Youth Works, Presbyterian, Baptist, and Scripture Union. 
I think, come together. And so, and finances, it's from people. Absolutely, the generosity of the local churches. Okay, so um, so that's that's where where we fit in. Is there anything in particular we should be remembering in prayer? Um, there is just a very brief general prayer in our our weekly uh, uh, prayers, but particular things for prayer. I'm really excited that we've got seminars coming up for Year 11 and 12. So that's happening up on Friday at Concord High School for Year 11s and 12s. We're going to be looking at the seven signs in John. We've got a double period with them. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I really hope we might meet and encourage uh, Christians to then come to our lunchtime group and maybe they might want to get trained as student leaders and things like that. So that's this Friday? That's this Friday. Well, we could be praying about that. That's right. And for you, Katie, this is this is a new a new um, role this year, isn't it, for you? Absolutely. This is a step up for me in terms of time and commitment. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. It's wonderful to be part of a team. So energising. Uh, in my previous uh, job teaching in Balmain and Black, it really was a, a solo venture. You're going in on your own. So different to be going in as a team. And I think. Uh, don't discount your prayers. I think we go in on the strength of your prayers every single week. I can feel that people must be praying for us because sometimes you know you give an answer and you go, where did that come from? <laughs> so I'm so grateful. It, these are difficult places to be a Christian, really difficult places to be a Christian. We really want to try and support these kids to own their faith and not feel like they've got to keep it a secret. We want to encourage them. Wonderful, Katie. Look, thank you very much. Um, uh, we might, uh, we'll stay in touch. And uh, thank you for your time. It's Enjoy pleasure. being reunited with your family this morning. And uh, we're, uh, we'll have a, a quick word of prayer for Katie now. And we'd like to remember you in prayer in coming weeks. And um, let's enough. pray particularly for this Friday, shall we? Our Lord Jesus, we thank you very much for the, the access that we've been afforded through Katie and her team and others like her in our high schools. Lord, we pray that this ministry might prosper, that you'd equip those who go. Be uh, grant Katie your grace, and particularly this Friday, we pray that good things might be achieved in your name. You would open hearts, your word would be shared, and the things of the kingdom would grow. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. May God's blessing go with you. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Let us celebrate that light by singing our gradual hymn.